Hi all, this is Raju Mahathu. On my last video, I have shown you the way to load local HTML content on web view. So here you can see that this is the web view having loaded with external website. So on click of this, I will I have uh, changed the HTML content to our local HTML content. Here it is. So continuing with that, today I am going to show you how can we load an external HTML file to this web view. So for that, let's create an HTML file. So that need to be under create under asset folder. So on asset folder, let's add a new file. Name it as in test HTML test dot HTML file. Remember, we need to mention here the file extension while creating or naming the file, any file. If I'm going to add any JS file, then also we need to define file name and the file extension that is .js. So remember these things while creating any file. So here I have created the test.html file. Now let's some um, add HTML code here. So I'm going to add body for that. Adding some text on it. That's it. Now I'm going to load this HTML file to our web view. So to do that, we can we can have two different approaches. We can load it initially while assigning the web view, or we can load it later on, as like we have installed loaded the HTML content on this tutorial. So I'm going to display you the both of the way here. So for the first, I will load it on click of this web view. I will load this external file to this web view. So for that, we have already added the on click event change content. So I on this function, I will write the code to change or to load the local HTML file to this web view. So for that, let's go to the function on this controller. So in order to assign the local HTML, we need to assign the that HTML file that we have just created on asset folder. So for that, we just need to as give the direction or the give the path for that file. So as it holds on the asset folder so we did not need to mention any folders name here so directly we can assign the test.html if it comes under directory under this asset folder so we need to as define it here as the as the path of this file so here you can see that I have assigned the HTML contain assign the HTML page to the HTML property of this web view, but it will not load this HTML file. To load any external HTML file on web view, we must have the URL property assigning with that HTML file. So that's it. Now I'm going to run this application. Hopefully on click of this web view, we will get the HTML file contained on our web view. So it's running. So, so now here you can see that our web view get 
loaded with the URL that you have initially assigned while assigning with assigning the web view so now on click of any of the portion of this web view we will we can have load that our custom created HTML file so here you can see that we have loaded our custom HTML file on our web view so this is the one way again we can also load this HTML file while assigning that web view so for that we need to go to the web view and instead of instead of assigning URL external URL here we can also assign that HTML file path that is the test.html that's it so as you don't need this on click event I'm going to remove it here this is it we can also talk from web view to our native application or from web view we can also interact with custom function so that will I will discuss on our on my next video so here you can see that initially it gets loaded with our local HTML file that you have just created so this is the way how can we load the HTML file to our web view so up to this for today